Hi there, we're on Parliament Street. This is just a brief intro. Just to have a look at London during COVID. If today is the 2nd of August. Uh, check it out. There you go. Welcome to Africa Lenezi. Continuing on with aspects of Africa in London. We are heading to St. James's Palace. King Charles II is said to have been one of the first kings of African descent or an African to reign in England, Scotland, and Ireland. King Charles II was born on the 29th of May, 1630, at St. James Palace, right in the heartland of London, which is located on Marlborough Road, St. James in London. On his birth, he was described as dark with African descent. He was described as dark with African features. Hence, he was nicknamed the Black Boy by his own mother, Queen Henrietta Maria of France. This description triggers a lot of questions, which must be interrogated on the left as we come across is the entrance to St. James's Palace. Here we go. King Charles II became King of Scotland from 1649 until 1651 and King of Ireland, England again, Scotland from 1600 until his death on 6th of February, 1685. St. James's Palace, as we stand in front of it, is said to have been, or it is, the oldest palace in the United Kingdom. The palace was first opened in 1536. King Charles II, just as today's ordinary man, had many unanswered questions pertaining to religion. Very often, it is said, due to his growing up and witnessing some of his elders' bad behavior and hiding behind religion, to subjugate the poor, he resisted the teachings of religion, which resulted in numerous confrontations with Parliament. Take a look at the palace, beautiful. This is where the Black Boy Prince, or King Charles II, was born and perhaps grew up for a bit. Eventually, just before his death, he caved in and converted to Catholicism. This is proof that Africans not only haven't been contributing or continue to contribute to the economic growth of the United Kingdom, have been part of the fabric of society. It goes to show the African blood also runs through the tight woven DNA of the country's royal family. Hmm. 